All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the jungle, and today is the day, guys. Uh, I know you guys have been eagerly and patiently waiting for this day to come, and it is finally here. I am giving you guys the full tour of the GK Jungle Gym. Uh, the reason why we had so much delay is because obviously I was waiting for some equipment to come from Jablaco. I want to make sure everything's in place before I gave you guys the full tour of the gym. So just give you guys a quick backstory about how the gym came to be. Obviously, as a bodybuilder and someone who's always loved, had passion for lifting, you know, having your own gym is, is a dream come true for many of us, right? And then when I moved to Texas, obviously last year, um, I just, I honestly wasn't feeling the gym scene. Uh, coming from New Jersey and coming from Signature Fitness, I was very spoiled at my home gym. So when I came down here, I found myself having to train legs at this gym, back at this gym, arms at this gym, and kind of piecing together my workouts for the week. And it got very, just wasn't conducive. I wasn't happy and decided to bite the bullet and just say, go for it and build my own gym. And uh, it took about a couple of weeks, called my realtor. We started looking at locations, warehouses that are available. Um, I just wasn't happy with what I was seeing. And then I finally got the opportunity to build my own gym from the ground up. And I jumped at the opportunity and we made it happen. So that we actually broke ground, I believe is sometime in October. I got the keys to the building in January and I've been training here ever since about full time. So what we have here is a 5,000 square foot private facility, guys. Put it out there right now. I know you guys are gonna ask about this gym. Is your gym, is your gym public? Can I come train there? Unfortunately, guys, this is a private gym for myself, my team, my family to train at. Uh, again, the reason why I want to make this private and not open it to the public, where I'm at with, with my career, I needed a place that I can come to lock in, have no distractions, and just do what I do and do what I love. Um, so building this was something that was needed for my career. I'm not gonna say this will not be public one day, maybe in the future, or possibly for personal training. Um, that is to be seen, but for right now, this is a fully private gym, all right? 5,000 square feet, as you can see here, we have just about 80 pieces in this gym, guys. And it's, when, it, when it comes to equipment, you guys know I'm very old school. All right, I grew up in the era with the Ronnie, the Branch, the Dorians, all those guys, the Nautilus, the Icarian, Precorp, Body Masters. So I've traveled the world and I've trained at many, many gyms, tried many pieces of equipment, and I always kept a mental checklist in my head about what pieces I like, what I didn't like. So obviously, as I, the years go by, you always think about if you have your own gym, what pieces you want. And then obviously that time came for me to decide to pick what pieces I wanted. So literally all these pieces you guys will see here are very, most of them are very hard to find, very rare. Again, tons of Nautilus, Icarian, Body Masters, Cybex. These pieces are literally have been purchased, shipped from all around the world. Many countries, states, you name it. This is very much a long process, a very expensive process, uh, a lot of headache. But the thing is, this is my career. This is what I love. And I said, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right, and I did it, and I'm so happy I did it, guys. This is definitely a dream come true. I remember the first day I got that key, I cried, because this is something I thought about my entire career, my entire life, what that day will feel like to now have a gym, and here it is, the JK Jungle Gym. So I'm walking guys through the gym, all right? We're gonna start off in the posing area, and then we'll move into the offices, and then we'll move into the fun stuff, the actual equipment. So let's go check out the posing room, guys. So this is the posing room. This is a, I mean, a 10 by 12 room, fully blacked out. Uh, the cool thing about this room is the lighting. Obviously you guys see here, we've got the regular house lights, but what I told them, hey, I need this for posing, I need special lights, and they made it happen. So every time, every time I finish training, I come in here for about 20, 30 minutes, put on the lights and just pose. And this is literally the perfect lighting for when I'm on stage. All right, moving on. We've got the office slash kitchenette. We're still working on this area here, but as you can see, we've got fully functional sink here. Got a little office area, so if I do interviews or any type of podcast and things like that, bring a laptop and kind of hang out right here. And of course, this cabinet, I keep all like my towels and my accessories, my belts, things like that. And uh, the, that is the office. Nothing special, just come in here, drop my bags, and uh, keep it moving. Uh, the way I kind of mapped this out initially in my head was kind of like arms shoulders, a uh, little bit of chest, and then we move on to the bigger body parts like back and legs. So as you can see here, guys, we kind of wrapped everything around. Let's start here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go piece by piece. I'm gonna show you everything that I have in the gym. Um, I won't spend too much time on pieces that are kind of common, but if it's a piece that's kind of rare and kind of different, I'll definitely spend some time and show you guys exactly what it is for those who have never seen it before. So let's starting off right through here. We've got my arm section, starting off with a Gym Laco uh, forearm machine. 
We're going right next door to the hammer grip slash former machine as well. So we got an OG flex bicelator. Shout out to my man, Tyler Savage Iron. This is actually a gift he gave to me for opening the gym. Uh, he actually gifted me this as well as one of my ham tractors. Uh, original paint, original everything on this thing. Head covers, you name it, it's there. Uh, definitely clean, very rare piece. I absolutely love it. Right next door, we got another very similar to the, to the bicelator. We got the Atlantis version. Uh, another great piece that I got here. This is from my man Jimmy Mentis in Florida. This is one of his private collection pieces that he uh, allowed me to, to pick up. We're moving next door. We've got probably one of my favorites bicep machines of all time, the Jim Laco Bicep Curl. Uh, this thing, first time I tried this was in 2018, and I absolutely loved it. And you guys know I partnered this past year, of course, with Jim Laco. And the first thing on my list was this piece, and we got it. So big shout out to Jim Laco for that. Right here, guys, we got a tricep overhead extension. Uh, definitely a great piece. Uh, this is something I've been looking for as well for a while in a hunt. I know many bodybuilders like myself, when it comes to overhead, you know, our limited, we're limited in range of motion. So being able to have a machine to kind of go overhead to put us in that position to be able to press up for our triceps is important. And I found this piece. Right next door, we got the OG Star Trek slash Flex Fitness overhead extension as well. Moving next door, we've got an old school Cybex curl, nothing special there. But I like the way that it kind of puts me in that high position and kind of just gives me that little bit shorter range from the bicep. Another awesome piece from Star Trek, we got a dip. This thing is super heavy. This is one of Tyler's uh, old pieces as well. He provided for me here in the gym. And adjacent to that, right across from that, we've got a full set here of straight bar curls as well as easy curls, all from Jim Laco, starting at seven and a half kilos all the way to 50 kilos. Now this surprised me when I first got it. I didn't know they were in kilograms. So I went to lift it, it was heavier than I expected. So, but yeah, these are great pieces. This is definitely essential. We use this for tons of things, whether it's curls, uh, laterals, you name it. They get used pretty, pretty often in here. Moving down the line this way, we've got a Mega Mass RDL shrug, you name it. It does a little bit of everything. So I can do RDLs, I can do shrugs on this, and I've been doing a lot of my barbell rows in this piece. Moving next door, we got a free motion step. Now, something we do with this, you can do uh, many different things, bicep curls, but what I got it for is for hamstrings. So obviously when I do RDLs over here, I can do RDLs on the cable. I mentioned one of my videos, I don't connect well with dumbbell uh, RDLs. I'm primarily cable and or the pitch chart. So this is one of my favorite pieces here. And if we move next door, we have to have a squat rack. Now, I don't squat anymore, but the squat rack is used for many other things, whether it's safety squats, uh, incline presses, rack pulls, things like that. So this is something we definitely need to have in the gym. Uh, I'm a big fan of Hammer. I've always been a big fan of Hammer. Um, so I waited a long time to find this piece. I was actually able to find it in North Carolina. Shout out to Use Gym Store. They were able to get it for me, hold it for me, and get it shipped to the gym. So. And we just got in literally 10 minutes ago, a new bar from Texas Power Bar. All right, they're probably, I mean, Ivan told me that Texas Power Bar is probably one of the best companies when it comes to barbells. I'm clueless when it comes to that stuff. So I actually reached out to Texas Barbell. They actually called me and uh, they gifted me with this awesome piece here. And of course they know my favorite color is red. So we had to go with the red Texas uh, All-American Bar. All right, so we're gonna move in now. We'll move on to a little bit more of the shoulders, going into a little bit of the chest area. So first things first, we had to show you guys the OG Icarian side lateral. This is definitely a piece that many guys are looking for. Uh, I found a gentleman who had it. He honestly didn't even know what he had, and you know he gave me a really good deal on it, and I had to have it. So this is the Icarian side lateral. And if we move down the line, we got a few other laterals. We've also got a Paramount side lateral machine, and adjacent to the other side is a uh, Life Fitness lateral machine as well. That's one. That one is my personal favorite. We'll show you guys that as well soon. If we look right here, we've got a Paramount Total Shoulder. Now this is a three-in-one piece. And let me tell you right now, it's very heavy. All right, three-in-one being, it can be a shoulder press, it can be an upright row, or it can be a um, rear delt. So let me, real quickly, show you guys like what I mean. There we go. If I wanna hit rear delts, grab these handles at the bottom here. Rear delts. And upright row, what I'm gonna do is take this lever right here, bring this over, and this locks in place right there. Okay, stand here. 
and upright row. And that is it. Put that right back. Next door, we've got a Mega Mass shoulder press. Again, plate loaded, super heavy piece. Uh, I have two different grip variations here if I wanted to use it. And next door, we've got the Jim Laco overhead press. This is probably one of my favorite presses uh, for, one of, for two reasons. One, it puts me in a natural position to kind of almost simulate having dumbbells overhead. And two, the seat adjusts. So if you're a bigger person, smaller person, you'll be able to adjust the seat to fit you. A lot of these machines are kind of just one, one size fit all. Sometimes you get under it, it's uncomfortable, or it's not hitting you where you want it to hit. But having that seat adjustment is perfect for everyone. Since we're here, all right, we're gonna go to Death Row Valley. I've got pretty much every type of row possible here, guys. So let's go here with the newest row. We've got the Linear Row from Mega Mass. All right, you guys have probably seen this online. Many places have been creating it. Mega Mass is one of the first people to create one. Uh, this is his prototype. I was lucky enough to get it, and uh, I've been using it ever since. This is another one of Mega Mass's plate loaders. This is a flex leverage uh, row, very heavy, but very awesome for mid back. Moving on to the Nautilus or Star Trek version of a row. This is more upper back, and you can see every handle position is always different, all right? So they almost look the same, but they're different. They hit different parts. And obviously, we've got this one here. So this is a, it's made by SN Strength. Very similar to the Nautilus, Nautilus uh, row. So pretty much sitting down here. I can do single, I can do, I can do both, and just row. All right, very similar to the Nautilus Explode, just like that. So that's Death Row Valley. We're gonna move on now into chest. We're gonna go with the King. We got the Hammer Incline Press. This is definitely a staple. If you don't do dumbbells or any type of incline on a Smith, we'll always do the uh, Hammer Incline. Moving next door to probably one of my favorite pieces. Uh, this is the Magnum Press. I can do neutral or uh, um, overhand grip. Now Signature Fitness was, had this piece. So that's the gym I trained up for seven years. And I even myself, we were training this thing pretty much every single week. And again, when I created the gym, I always kind of had that mental note, like I mentioned earlier, about what pieces I really liked and what I wanted to have in my gym. I was able to find it and get it here. We've got an OG Dynabody standing chest press. I'm a big fan of this one because it's just, this one's heavy. So what it want, it kind of, I always say, it wants to kind of like just nail you into the ground. So you're having to put your back up against this pad the whole time. All right, and then pretty much a kickoff, standing here. And then it latches on itself and it wants to drive you all the way into the ground. And such a big stretch here, zero momentum and just big chest. And to kick it back in place, see my right foot right here, just kick it up, lock it in place and you step out. Let's move it on to another Mega Mass creation. This is, again, Mega Mass likes to recreate a lot of the old school uh, flex pieces. So this is his uh, plate loaded flex converging chest press, flat press. Next door, we've got the Jim Laco Decline. Now this is definitely one of my favorite pieces. Uh, this is actually probably their newest piece they created. So when I was in Germany back in, I think it was April of last year, they had this on their, in their demo on their floor. Uh, they wanted everyone to try it out. And obviously I've tried variations of decline presses. Obviously main, the one main one being the hammer. Now the difference between this one and the hammer, one, we got a much smaller footprint, all right? Two, the seat on this one adjusts, okay? And three, one thing I noticed big time, and even I even noticed it, is that you don't need a seat belt for this one. Generally with the hammer, for me, because the seat is so pitched up, I have to strap myself in to keep myself in the position. Whereas here, this seat, again, is very much in the right position. Chair is in the right position. My feet actually can touch the ground as opposed to the hammer because with the hammer, I can't touch the ground. And the hammer is driving up. And again, I'm staying in place. Even as the wig is heavy and heavier, I'm still locked in. It's a perfect piece for lower pec. As I mentioned earlier, this was the Life Fitness uh, side lateral machine. Definitely one of my favorite ones here. We got a life fitness uh, press here. I can do overhead, I can do neutral grip, whichever I'm feeling that day. And as you move over here to the chest as well, we've got the new standing wide chest from Jim Laco. This is definitely an awesome piece. All right, I call this the chest finisher. 
Uh, for me, in my mind, when I start thinking about this piece, if, with any training, really, it's like, what am I doing on stage? So with this piece, I'm almost like hitting a most muscular on stage. So what I'm doing, I'm standing on these blocks here, grabbing the handles, okay? Leaning forward slightly, and again, a most muscular on stage, squeeze. Love this piece, absolutely love this piece. All right, so when it comes to flies, I got pretty much every variation you can name, all right? Let's start here with the Avenger uh, plate-loaded uh, fly, okay? Now, if you notice, all these flies here have no handles. These are all padded, so you're literally taking your grip and your hand out of the equation and just allowing you to focus directly on squeezing the pack. So you, that's the main goal for chest, is to come in this position here. But when you have a handle, you're always grabbing and tensing, using everything, you're using your arms, your forearms, your biceps. When you, don't have, when you have these types of pads here, guys, it eliminates that. It allows you to focus directly on the area, which is the pecs. So again, flat Avenger. Then we've got the Nitro Pec Fly here. Then we got a 30 degree Star Trek Pec Fly. This is an awesome, awesome piece. Here, guys, this is probably one of my favorites as well. Really quickly, show you exactly how this one works. Again, see my form, see my hands here. My hands are very free. The pads are right in the creases of my arms, allowing me to stretch, stretch, stretch. And now I'm just squeezing here. I don't have to worry about my hands, my grip, or anything doing anything. I'm just focusing on the contraction. And that's the same motion with all these machines here that have that same type of padding. Again, it allows me to take that grip out of the equation and focus on the pec. Cybex, pec and rear delt, okay. Very simple piece, very effective. Just picked up two new Jim Lakel pieces. I think my chest area is pretty stacked. <laughs> I think I got everything now. For, so we got a seated chest fly here. I really like this one, all right, as opposed to traditional ones. Uh, this one kind of is an old school version. It kind of keeps my hands in this back position this whole time. So I'm getting a really good stretch in this piece and a really good contraction. And right next door, we've got the plate loaded incline fly, all right? You've probably seen this. Other companies have made it. And obviously Jim Laco has their variation. Show you guys really quickly. I really love this piece. It's definitely one of my staples. Here, lock in, stretch, big stretch, big stretch. Boom. All right. All right, so the one cool variation that this comp that Jim Lakewood does that other companies don't do is I can adjust the seat setting. So if I want a little bit more incline, I just gotta simply just pull this handle and my seat can come up a little more. If I want more of a lower chest or mid chest, just drop the seat down a little bit more. So Jim Lakewood's the only company that I personally know has, has done that with their seat and uh, it's phenomenal. So we got, moving next door, we've got a Paramount total chest. So if you guys remember, the total shoulder, I was doing upright rows, I was doing laterals, and I was doing presses. Paramount total, total chest will allow me to do all three, flat, incline, and decline, all right? Really quickly, I'm not gonna go through all of them. I'm in place, and, and it converges at the top. So it's almost like a press fly, or a fly press, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm coming out, getting a good stretch, and a very good contraction at the top for flat, okay? Very easy, simple way to switch it off. So if I want to go to the incline, just simply drop the seat up. This here comes down. Now I'm in the incline position. Lock the handles in, and these swivel D handles are pretty cool. And I can actually adjust the width. So if I'm a little bit taller, I can actually adjust this to go up and down. You see that, guys? Which is really cool. All right. Cable units, we've got the five-part series from Jim Laco. All right, connects over. Obviously, we've got both the crossovers that adjust from top to bottom right here. All right, we've got the lat pull-down right across from there. We've got the lat row. And right to the corner, we've got another single arm push-down. Big thank you to Jim Laco because I asked to extend my stacks. Typically, their stacks, I think, go up to like 200 or so here. And they extended mine to 350. 350 pound stack with both the lat pull down as well as the low row. And I noticed that when I wheeled this thing in, why was this thing so damn heavy? <laughs> and then we unwrapped it and we noticed the stacks. I mean, you got 700 pounds between just these two alone. And you forgot to actually add these in as well. So thank you, Jim Lego, for that. 
all right? And of course, we actually had to add also the uh, single stack unit or dual unit right here as well. We do a variation of you know, triceps here, flies, uh, smaller variation of flies, things like that right here. And you see all the attachments we've got. We've got a variation of D handles, mags, ropes, gym pen extenders. You name it, we got it here, okay? Now let's go into this little area here. Benches, that's super important. Benches are important, guys. The utility bench right here. Next door, we've got the preacher bench. Then we've got a standing preacher. That's something I've never seen before, personally. Typically, I do my preachers on a bench, but this is actually made just for you to stand over here. Bicep curl right in place. Perfect piece. Now, this is a piece that everyone's been asking about, all right? Now, this is the scapula bench made by Watson. Uh, I didn't even know what this was when I first got it. The guy had told me about it, and I said, yeah, I'll take it. And after trying it and seeing how great it is, this is definitely an awesome piece. We've been using it pretty much almost every, every chest day. Let's just kind of run you guys through real quick why I think it's an awesome piece. Now, pretty much you're just sitting here, and what it allows you to do by having this small little arched pad here is that pad is sitting right in the middle of your back. All right, and what that does, it's gonna allow you to go flies or presses and really get a big stretch, all right, and open up even further than you would on a regular flat bench. And that's why it's called the scapula bench. They only made a few, few dozen of these. Uh, I don't know why they stopped making them. Very awesome piece. It's great for really being able to get that good contraction and definitely a piece you don't wanna go super heavy on. We got the Jim Laco adjustable bench. I love this curved bench, I really do. Just being able to, if you see the natural curve here, get back, it just feels awesome. And you've got your standard adjustable bench right next door. Dumbbells. Again, I wanted old school, as old school as possible. So we want some clang and bangs. Uh, this is the, I believe they're Nebula uh, dumbbells, okay? Hand welded, as you can see right here. These are super heavy. I mean, let's just hear the sound. Solid, you know, it says 60 pounds, but every dumbbell is at least 10 or 15 pounds more than it really is. Uh, I pretty much got a, almost a full stack from fives all the way to 150. There's a few that were broken that we had to switch out, but for the most part, the entire set is all old school Nebula uh, dumbbells. So they didn't want to go with the traditional rubber and the newer stuff, it just didn't feel right, they didn't like it. Again, I've used these in the past, and when I was able to come across this, saw a gentleman had them for sale, I jumped all over it, man, and got him here, so. Now we're getting to the fun stuff. I would think the two areas of this gym that are just jam-packed with equipment, back and legs, all right? Back equipment, guys, you can't, if you can't grow a back in here, you just can't grow a back, period. But we've got every variation possible, starting with the OG Nautilus Explode plate load pull down. Then we're gonna go into the Cybex row. Typically you see a bunch of these Cybex rows, everyone's got one, but I don't just have the regular cable version, I also have the plate loader version. I've only seen three of these ever. Madhouse has one, uh, I believe another gentleman in Pennsylvania has one, and I got one. So definitely, they're very similar as far as the movement pattern, but they're completely different when it comes to weight load. This single cable stack on this plate load is super heavy. So here I can probably rack out 290, no problem. I think the most I've done on this single is probably two and a half plates max. So very different, but very similar at the same time. Moving down the line, we've got hammer high row. You guys have probably already seen that everywhere. Then we've got the old school Dorian DY row, low row, underhand grip. We still got the Original pamphlet here, as you guys can see. Moving right along, we've got the Mega Mass Leverage pull down. Very cool piece, so you guys really quickly. Plate load in the back, sitting here, locking in place, and really focusing on the upper back. Stretch, stretch, squeeze. Right next door, we've got two flex units. We've got a flex pull down with a 300 pound weight stack, and we also got a flex low row. 300 pound weight stack. You guys know the old school flex pieces were always on the floor. You guys remember some old videos of like, you know, Branch, Johnny, all those guys training at Metro Flex. They were all on the floor training and, and rowing. And we got one here in the gym, love this piece. And of course, you know you guys, we had to have the OG Nautilus Super Pullover fully chain 
driven, all right? Don't see too many of these available, and if you do find them, they're gonna be super expensive just because, you know, again, they're train driven. This is probably the second or third generation here. Uh, this is something we utilize, you know, once or twice uh, pretty much a week uh, to really open up the lats. We've got an assisted pull up, all right? Here I can do dips, I can do pull ups, you name it. Great piece to have. All right, we're gonna wrap right around to some more back pieces through here. All right, we've got a Strive Extreme Bro right here. Uh, great piece for upper back focus. Moving next door, we've got a Body Masters row, seated row, with both the overhand grip as well as the neutral grip. So depending on what you wanna target, we got that one. All right, we've got another old piece that Signature Fitness, my old gym had. Uh, this is the Magnum row. And this piece is probably definitely one of my favorite pieces in the gym. I would say that about all my pieces here, but again, this is definitely special to me because again, when I train that signature, this is one of the pieces we utilize on a daily basis when it came to back training. And I was able to find one, again, overhand grip as well as neutral grip, great piece here to have. Last but not least, when it came to back training, we've got the Body Masters swivel version of their T-bar row. Now we're getting into the real nitty gritty legs. I know you guys have been patiently waiting for that for this to come up and you guys are probably like, all the other stuff is boring. We just want to see a leg area, but, so let's get into it. So first things first, Smith Machines. I'm a big fan of Cybex Smith Machines simply because it's a straight up and down bar. There's none of that, what do you call that, uh, assisted weight. It's pretty much natural. We do pretty much everything here. Squats, uh, rack pulls, all our incline presses, flat presses, rows, you name it. It is done right here in this Cybex Smith Machine, all right? Calves, we got an Icarian standing calf, angled standing calf. We got Cybex adductor and abductor. Of course, we've got a sissy squat right here, right in front of there. We've got both a cable version standing Watson hamstring curl, standing leg curl. Also just came in a hammer standing curl plate load. We've got a pitch shark. All right, initially when I, when I, ordered, I wanted to get a pitch shark, I wanted a smaller pitch shark. Uh, they make one that's a little bit shorter, but I'm glad I got this one because I can do so much more I can do pull-ups, I can do my dips here. Uh, it's a magnificent piece and I got a great deal so I couldn't turn it up. So I'm actually glad I got this one as opposed to the small one. Right next door, adjacent to that, we've got the newest piece as well. We've got a jam squat. Kind of talked about this on my Instagram if you guys follow there. If not, uh, I remember trying this piece last year in March at the Arnold Classic. Uh, Hybrid Strength had one and I, I jumped on it. I used it and I absolutely loved it and I found one. Finally got one here in the jungle and I'm very excited for this one. Moving next door to a pendulum squat. There's so many pendulums in, this, in the world. Paramount, Arsenal, uh, Atlantis. I've tried them all. Hands down and Ivan can agree, the hardest one is right here, the Paramount pendulum, all right guys? Again, I've tried them all. I mean, the most I think I've done on a Arsenal is probably six and a half plates. Uh, the most I've done in Atlantis, I think it's like eight plates. I'm lucky if I can get away with four plates in this one. And that's no BS, guys. This thing is super heavy, and this is why this is definitely one of the pieces, a rare piece that many people are trying to find. Next door, we got a streamlined power squat. I can go front presses, front squats in, or face out, kind of simulate like a hack squat. If you look right across from there, we got the Jim Laco hip press. Definitely another piece I wanted to get. I felt like, you know, I was just missing that type of hip press movement. I'm a big fan of the, uh, the pendulum version, but this one here will definitely humble you guys. So we jumped in here, I think last, last was last week or something like that. And I think I, the most I've got was like two plates and like two plates here. So this thing is definitely a humbler, great piece. Puts a great load of stretch on your quads. We got a Star Trek leg extension here. We don't got one, but we got two flexed ham tractors. Cormac Greedy, I don't care. Uh, I was lucky enough to get my hands on not one, but two of them. One is cable driven and one is, I'm sorry, belt driven and this is cable driven. You're gonna ask me which one do you prefer, which one do you like better? Uh, they're both great pieces, I love them both. But if I had to pick one, I'm gonna go with the cable here. Super smooth, I just love the color as well. Uh, this again was one of Tyler Savage Iron's gifts to me for opening the jungle gym. Moving down the line, a little bit more hamstring. We got the Icarian lying leg curl. Now if you guys remember, True Squat. True Squat is an old piece. Uh, I forgot what, what company made it, Watson made one as well. But man, Mega Mass has recreated one as well. Uh, the reason why I didn't love the actual original True Squire is because when you, once you get under with a lot of weight, it really moves a lot. So you're having to kind of balance yourself through those movements. He recreated it so you don't get any of that. 
So once you're in this position here, guys, okay, you're locked in fully. You're locked in and I'm standing up. The weight is gonna unload and I can just squat from here. And when I'm done, just lock back in place. We're gonna move into the power movements. We got a OG Cybex hack squat, hands down. Cybex hack squat will always be my favorite hack squat ever. Again, I've tried them all, every hack squat possible. And without a doubt, in my personal being and believing, this is probably one of the hardest ones to do. Right next door, we also got the Cybex squat press. Definitely one of my favorites because it has zero pain on the back, zero pain in the knees, and all the tension and focus on my quads. Right next door to that, we got a Randy Coyle swing squat, guys. Uh, wow, I remember trying this piece in New Jersey. Uh, Jim Strong and Shapey had one. And it's just very similar to a pendulum and a hack squat. Just send me to the position. So if I show you guys really quickly what it looks like. Big platform here. I'm gonna tuck myself under the seat here. I'm gonna grab these handles. As I stand up, the weight unlocks itself. Okay, and I'm just gonna squat right in position, right in position. And from here, zero momentum. I gotta get myself up out of this hole. And you see the flexion here, hamstring to calves driving all the way up. Simply lock here, and I'm safe. Last but not least, in the jungle here for legs, I'm gonna show you guys probably, I would say probably one of the oldest leg pieces here. This is the Frank Zane Leg Blaster. Now I did some history, some digging and trying to figure out how it was all created um, before Frank Zane owned it, someone else owned it, and. Frank bought the pad or whatever the case may be, but this has been known to now be the Frank Zane Leg Blaster. So as you can see here, it's got this harness here, it's got this handle. So it's simply, it's really made for unleashing the harness, holding onto the handles, and these hooks here are where the weights are gonna load, all right? And you just squat. But what have I been doing, if you guys wanna see really quickly, is I've been taking this harness, loading up the plates here, and I've been lunging with this. So plates are loaded here, and I'm literally lunging. Now the reason why I like lunging like this is because obviously I don't have to hold dumbbells in my hand. We know if you're lunging with dumbbells in your hands, the grip is gonna eventually give out. But also one, this keeps the focus above me. So I'm always in the quads the whole entire time, keeping my body upright. So this is the Frank Zane Leg Blaster. Again, if I wanted to squat, very simple. Just come here, stack some weight on this side, feet stable here, and I just squat, just like that. Very similar to a pitch shark. And latch it back in. All right, so we're gonna move into a piece that many of you probably like, what the hell is that thing? It, I, Cause I didn't know what it was originally. This is a Saxon squat. I actually had to do my research, figure out how this thing works. I like the way it kind of puts you in a position to really target your quads. So this is pretty much a weighted sissy squat. As you can see the bench here, that's a sissy squat bench. All I'm simply gonna do is come around here and the actual weight load will go on this peg outside here. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna unlatch, hook, down the weights where it needs to be. And I'm just gonna squat in position. And that is pretty much what it does. I can do weighted 60 squats, I can do front squats, I can do a box squat on here if I wanted to. So very cool piece, very unique piece. And you guys know this gym is pretty much made of all unique pieces. So I saw it, I grabbed it and we got it here. All right, so that is a wrap guys. That is the full, GK Jungle Gym Tour. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed that. You know, I've been posting tons of content in here on my IG and on my YouTube, but I wanted to give you guys the full run on, rundown on every single piece we have here in the gym. Once again, big thank you to Jim Laco for being one of my sponsors here and getting me a lot of these great pieces. Just the crossover, the bicep, the shoulders, all the, the pec pieces. Uh, it's been definitely surreal to have my dream come true, guys. And you guys definitely helped me with that. So. Thank you guys for all the love and support and following along. Continue to follow along on GK Jungle because this is going to be a non-stop process. Pieces will be going out, new pieces coming in, and the jungle will continue to grow, guys. So till next time, subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment, and let me know what you think about the gym. Did you like it? Didn't you like it? And if there's a piece out there you think I should have, drop it in the comments and let me know, and we'll see what we can do. Till next time, guys.